Uh, thank you very much, Manny. Welcome back to Inside BBC Boxing. A big welcome to the still undefeated IBF welterweight champ, Errol Spence Jr. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Man. Uh, does it feel different? Life is good as a pay-per-view undefeated star? Oh, definitely. I'm definitely happy with the outcome that happened in Dallas, just fighting in my hometown. And, um, you know, 47,000 plus, I mean, that was great. How about that switch, though, from the weigh-in? Because there were so many Mikey fans at the weigh-in, right? And then the switch that to, to fight night, you've got 48,000 people there and, and everyone's enjoying your performance. The yeah, fight night they were cheering for when I came out, I expected some booze. And, uh -huh. um, you know, the weigh-ins had me a little bit irritated. I was real irritated <laughs> by, about them booing me. So I had a big chip on my shoulder and, I, you know, that kind of... You know, got under my skin, and normally, you know, a lot of stuff don't get under my skin. I, but... We were like, nah, he's cool, he's cool. <laughs> yeah, but when they booed me at the weigh-ins, that kind of, you know, I didn't even want to do interviews after that. It was like, you got to do interviews. I was like, I'm not doing no interviews. I'm about to go eat, rest up, just get ready for this fight. What did you make of... OK, so Mikey Garcia obviously coming up to weight classes, but he was undefeated. Where do you think that this fight puts you now? What does it do for your reputation, your career? How does it change how you're seen? Um, I think it changed how I've seen just fighting wise because boxing wise and just me using my skills and my talent and my ability because um, a lot of times everybody was saying I was physically strong and it's a lot of static coming from this, from this thing. Sorry, we'll try and get it fixed for you. See if we can put it out. <laughs> Carry on talking though, tell us the rest. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, well, a lot of people saying that I was just physically strong. I was just gonna bully him and just use just my strength and you know, I'm just a fighter that just has brute strength. And I showed that, you know, I have a jab, a one-two. Um, my boxing IQ is high. And um, I have a lot of different things that I bring to the table except just, you know, pure brute strength. Mm -hmm. I agree with that 100%. And, and I'm sure I know the answer is, does it bother you at all that you didn't knock him out? Oh, a little bit, a little oh, bit. Oh, it does? Yeah. <laughs> OK, <laughs> yeah. then I'm surprised why. It bothered me a little bit, but just the way that I beat him uh -huh. helped me out a lot because a lot of people didn't expect me mm -hmm. to beat him that way. They just expected me just to come forward and just bully him and, and just overpower him. And I beat him now, more of just in a, just a systematic way and just broke him down. Now, you know that there's a such thing called looking too good. Yeah. Do you think you look too good for Manny Pacquiao to fight you? Um, I don't think so, man. Manny Pacquiao's a guy, you know, with a lot of heart. And, um, you know, he's a guy, I never known him to duck anybody. I mean, he's been in some tough fights, been in some great fights. so. You know, just just knowing the fighter that Manny Pacquiao is, mm -hmm. I think he will take the fight. Errol, so now, wh where do you stand in the pound for pound in this? Where do you put yourself? Uh, I put myself top five. Um, you know, I got um, the cruiserweight undisputed guy. I got him up there. And, um, you know, I have Terrence Crawford up there. Mm -hmm. And I have Canelo up there, too. Mm -hmm. Nice. Where do you guys put him? Because I think I heard from a previous conversation, I... you put him top, top one. You put I him do. first place, right? I put you in, I mean, we were talking about your performance and I mean, you just look phenomenal, brother. I mean, and you, I love the way how you said it and you, you just didn't bully him, you know, he beat, you beat him with pure talent. And, and, and I'm gonna ask you, so you're upset and not getting him, you know, not getting the knockout. So does that mean you were looking for a knockout or you were trying to knock him out? Because honestly, I felt like there we were did. some rounds where that you took off yeah. where you're just playing, playing with him. Yeah. But you, were you looking for the knockout? Um, I, I really wasn't looking for the knockout because it wasn't our game plan. But after after I watched the fight, I was like, you know, I think mm -hmm. I could have, you know, went for the knockout a little I, bit more. I asked the room now, I said, yeah. did, did we see some mercy mm -hmm. from Errol Spence near the end of this fight? And I, I wasn't quite sure, yeah. you know, and you know how it is once you, well, now you know, yeah. come, going 12 rounds, once yeah. you get to that point and you know you won the fight, there's really no reason to put your foot on the gas pedal yeah. if you don't see those moments or those opportunities. But was that kind of the thing? You just didn't really see the moment or the opportunity? Um, no. My, well, or was he just good enough to survive? Yeah, I mean, he was good at surviving because, I mean, he's 39 and 0, so he has a lot of experience. Right. You know, he didn't spar guys like Eddie Valero and... You know, a lot of top guys even growing up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he knows how to, you know, basically, you know, block punches and roll with punches and, you know, absorb punches. So and he knew that it was coming. But with me, our whole game plan was basically just to, you know, let my skills be shown and show the world that I, I do have a high boxing IQ and I can box and I do have that ability just to outsmart somebody instead of just using brute strength. So I think just my whole mentality throughout the whole fight just basically, you know, had me kind of coast through, even though I threw, did throw a thousand punches. Mm -hmm. But it was more just to outpoint him and show people that, 
you know, I'm not going to just beat him how you think I'm going to beat him with your Bruce Strang. I'm going to beat him a different way. Have, have you and Derek watched the fight back? Is there anything that, that he's fed back to you that he would have liked to have seen you do differently? Uh, no. Um, I haven't really talked to Derek since the fight. Okay. <laughs> We've been together for like... You and Derek good? <laughs> <He's>, yeah. <laughs> nah, they just need some time off. <laughs> 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 We've been together for like eight, nine weeks. Yeah. yeah. I've been making weight and I'm hearing this dude telling me what I'm doing wrong all the time and sparring <laughs> and training. I'm like, I'm gonna call you in like a week or two. You, you blessed, need man. I don't off. get that. I don't get that. You blessed. <laughs> Errol, so uh, are you prepared for the meat of the comps for, uh, you know, after being a, a pay-per-view star? Are you oh. ready for this? Because you look kind of irritated with it, like yeah. we said at the way, and that kind of it began to drag a little bit that week, right? Yeah, I, I was irritated because I'm not a guy that you know does a lot of interviews and you know that jumps up for interviews. So you know, a lot of times they had to chase me down and do interviews. <laughs> like they, they'd be like, man, why girls are answering the phone? They calling. Me. You know what? Now I that think, you mentioned that, that's yeah, we were one of them. We were supposed to do a show <laughs> yes. here with you on it last week, and you, you were went no MIA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I go MIA, so. <laughs> So, um, you know, I just, you know, I, I got to learn it just comes with the territory. And, um, and if I want to be, you know, that guy in the face of boxing, then, you know, I got obligations. And mm -hmm. my obligations are doing interviews and traveling to different places and, you know, and being there and being seen. And, you know, if I want to be the face of boxing. So, you know, I just got to realize that and just, you know, got to put some things to the side. But still, you know, I still need my peace of mind a little bit. and you know, disappear for a second and come back. You've got a little bit of time off right now, so you can enjoy your peace of mind. What are your plans? Um, the, you know, chill with my family. I want to take my kids and my mother to, to maybe Jamaica or Hawaii. And um, then I'm going to take my dad and some friends. We're going to go to Africa. And, um, so you know, I'm just traveling. Gyms and just, out there, right? Yeah, going to some gyms out there in That's Ghana. Cool. And, cool, um, cool. you know, hopefully I, I'm with Everlast, so... You know, hopefully if they need gloves or, you know, anything like that, Beautiful. you know, Everlast is going to fund that and, you know, we're going to bring that to them. So, so good you're doing that. Cool opportunity so, to get back on. Uh, can I ask another mm. question? <laughs> All right, I, maybe it's like... I'm not the, the boss here, Sean. Go okay, ahead, cool. Sean. So the, the, the question I hate being asked the most after a fight is what's next? I'm about to ask you that. What's, <laughs> what do you think is next? I mean, we, we heard on live what you, what you, what you want, but yeah. date-wise and... Yeah. and Obviously, who-wise, what, what are you thinking about? Well, me, I, I want to be busy. Um, you know, I feel like I haven't been as busy. So um, I would like to come back in July, August. If I take too much time off, I'm just going to blow up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then it's going to take a lot more time to lose the weight. So yeah. I'm a guy that I like to eat. I love to eat. I, took I, a week I think off. the question <laughs> Sean is trying to ask, who do you want to fight next, and would it be him? <laughs> um, like I said... We didn't come up here for the drama. <laughs> like I said, no, it's no drama. I, I mean... If I don't get that Manny Pacquiao fight, I would definitely take the fight with Sean Porter. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the fight I've been wanting. Mm -hmm. I mean, Keith Thurman said he's not going to fight me in the 2020. Yeah. Here go a guy that said, you know, he wants to fight me. So definitely, if I can't get the Manny Pacquiao fight, which I want just, just for legacy-wise, he's on his way out. You know, that's a huge pay-per-view fight. Um, it's a possibility we could fight at, in Dallas. You know, at the Cowboy Stadium, which he already sold out and did better numbers than me. So, um, you know, just, just... Put your two together and... Yeah, yeah. and it'll, it'll be huge. But if I can't get that fight, I definitely love to fight Sean Porter and take that belt. I know you I, ain't, you ain't heard I, I fight him since you was about one and no. And nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody say, yeah, I fight him. <laughs> since you was one and no. Yeah, how I, how I, long do you wait right for that there. Manny Pacquiao fight to happen, though, before you turn to Sean? Oh, well, I'm not going to wait that long because, I, like I said, I want to come back in July, August. He just had a fight too, so you know I think it makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know we'll fight in August. Yes. You training, Sean? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, on the post-fight show, you very kindly came on after you won the fight Saturday night, and on that show, you mentioned a very specific way that you planned on celebrating. Take a look. Camp is hard, man. Is there anything you're really looking forward to right now? Um, getting a burger. Yeah. I'm looking for getting a double burger. Like I'm, I'm fiending for some grease. Like even after my, after my uh, weigh-ins, like I ate healthy throughout sweet potatoes mm -hmm. and fish, things like that. So I haven't had anything greasy, fries or anything that's gonna go through the a brown paper bag in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go, courtesy of Fox. We got a little gift for you. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Fill your food. Brown hey. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. I hey, my coach would be like, yo, what are you saying? <laughs> enjoy. Um, uh, what's the response been to you on social media and has that blown you away in some ways? Has that been positive? Um, a lot of it has been positive. 
and a lot of been, you know, negative feedback from like, you know, the Spanish community. <laughs> really? really? <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Yeah, like a lot of them been good, but a lot of them been like, you know, oh, once you move up two-way classes and fight Canelo. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yo, uh, I'm like, yo, Mike <laughs> called me out. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just took on the challenge. Like, he called me out. I took on the challenge, but, but you know, I've been getting a lot of, you know, great responses from a lot of critics, too. Like, a lot of boxing critics mm. and things like that. And they've been, you know, saying I did a great job and, and saying that I showed, a, you know, a different, a different, you know, style that, that a lot of people haven't seen. And a lot of my boxing peers, too, then showed a lot of, you know, respect and things like that. So, you know, that just means a lot, especially from the bo my boxing peers, you know, to show, you know, oh, he did good, oh, man, we seen something different, or we've been knowing that he had that in him, or, you know, That's what saying, it matters. you know, his yeah. pedigree, you know, he's that guy, he, he really is the truth. So for me, that was really matter, especially for my boxing peers, that they give me that type of respect and acknowledgement that, you know, I did a great job. I respect you. Can, are you sharing? Because I respect you, but... Come on, man. <laughs> dig in, bro. Dig in. Come on. Right. 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 Looks good. Uh, Errol, we appreciate you taking the time. Thank nah, you. I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> the fries, don't uh, Good to see you. All the best. Enjoy your holidays. Enjoy your time off. Thanks a lot for being here.